Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video. We're having a look at the ECFD 30 day model for today's first video uh, for the UK and rest of uh, Europe as well. We're looking at temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks, taking us into uh, March and um, we'll see what the ECM is forecasting uh, for the rest of uh, mid just your winter 2019, 2020 and into the beginning of the spring. Uh, so that's what we're doing for the first video today. Uh, of course, the second video will be a regular week to 10 day video update. I'll have all of the usual features I'll be with you uh, this afternoon. Uh, we're at the Hungarian Met Office uh, for this one. So a big thank you to them for supplying us with the charts. We can't show you uh, mean cell pressure or 500 bit of our high dominance, but you can get a rough idea of what model is forecasting from its temperature and precipitation uh, anomalies. Right, so I'm going to begin with uh, week one for our forecast period. It's week seven for 2020, uh, of course. It takes us from the 10th through to the 16th of February. And it continues to be a very mild scene, uh, actually, across uh, many parts of Europe, as it has been right way through winter. Warmest anomalies to average are up here, across Baltic regions, and also across northern parts of uh, Russia as well. But uh, I'm now talking about the anomaly of like 6 to 10 degrees above average. But widely elsewhere in uh, Europe, we're going up to um, 3 to 6 degrees above average in these dark orange because it's up, for example, through central parts of Europe, Germany and Poland, and then going down towards France and down to Spain and Portugal, also looking very significantly milder than average there. Most of the Mediterranean is looking... Uh, very significantly warmer than average too, at around 3 to 6 degrees above average. This extreme southeastern corner, particularly around Turkey and up to the Black Sea, is a little bit colder there. In fact, it is quite substantially colder as we look ahead towards the Middle East. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, quite significantly cold on average there, around three to six degrees uh, below average. It's also cooler in this extreme northwestern uh, part of Europe. So for northern Scotland and the Northern Ireland, we're average to a little bit below average. England and Wales generally coming out around one to three degrees above average, N mild, but not as mild as other parts of Europe. And then we've got Norway and northern parts of Sweden also around three to six degrees above average. So it's a little bit cooler in the extreme northwest, quite cold in the far southeast. Otherwise, most other parts of Europe from Spain right way up to uh, northern Russia looking substantially above average in the week here. Also very unsettled for many northern and western parts of Europe um, in the weekend. So this precipitation anomaly from the 10th through to 16th of February is driving average through most of the Mediterranean. So not a bad week, actually. If you're planning to head down to the men and get a bit of winter sunshine, not going to be too bad at all. Temperatures above average and pretty dry as well from Spain and Portugal in the west over towards Greece in the east. But further north, it's a lot wetter through northern and western parts of Europe. So uh, Ireland and the UK, significantly above average rainfall um, there, p potentially quite stormy at times. Central parts of Europe and western Europe also wetter than average. France, wetter than average. Germany, wetter than average, going up to Denmark, wetter than average there. And then into the Scandinavian Peninsula, we also find that up here we have above average rainfall too. Baltic areas and across the eastern, northeastern parts of uh, Europe. It's not quite as wet, but overall still generally quite uh, a little bit above average for northern and northeastern parts of Europe. So it really is a case that southern Europe is dry. Most other areas looking quite unsettled. And this is indicative, of course, of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic along with the jet stream and high pressure being across southern parts of Europe. So it's a classic zonal westerly Atlantic driven signal, really. Uh, going through to week eight, which is week two for our forecast period. This is how we're looking from the 17th to the 23rd of February in terms of the uh, temperature anomaly. Again, very substantially above average temperatures for northeastern, eastern parts of Europe and into west of Russia. Uh, 6 to 10 degrees above average as it has been throughout winter. Most other parts of northern, central, western Europe. Uh, we're talking about temperature anomalies from Scandinavia going down to Spain and Portugal. Uh, we're talking about temperature anomalies around 3 to 6 degrees above average, so significantly more than average. Most parts of Europe in the extreme northwest, but Ireland and the UK. 
It's not quite as mild as that, but even so, uh, around 1 to 3 degrees above average. Coolest anomalies to average around Iceland and then into the far north of the Atlantic. Things getting a bit milder as well down across that southeastern corner around Turkey and the Black Sea. And most parts of the Mediterranean looking nice and mild, if not quite warm actually, uh, for this week. And broadly, we keep the overall pattern going in terms of precipitation as well. So much of southern Europe is uh, drier than average. Most of the Med is drier than average. Spain, Portugal, drier than average. Central bowl of the Med over to Italy, drier than average. Went down into Greece. Um, it's also looking quite dry through there. So lots of high pressure across southern parts of Europe. Northern and western Europe looking more unsettled. Not perhaps quite as wet. Um, in this week as it is in week one. Nevertheless, substantially above average precipitation and rainfall across many parts of northern, central and western Europe too. The UK and Ireland is included in that. So it continues uh, with the zonal signal. Uh, high pressure continues to be sitting to the south, back into the Azores, of course. Uh, low pressure conti conti continues to be to the north. And yes, we carry on with those westerly winds driving in. Areas of low pressure, wind and rain, but also mild temperatures. Week 3 is the 24th of February to the 1st of March. It's week 9 for the year. Overall, just looking very, very mild across most parts of Europe. It's not quite as warm to average um, in this week. But nevertheless, most of northern, eastern Europe, uh, again, around 3 to 6 degrees above average. Western parts of Europe, um, talking about 1 to 3 degrees above average. Uh, nearly all parts of the Mediterranean looking significantly above average with precipitation, with um, temperature as well. Precipitation-wise, maybe just a little bit drier, just hinting at being a bit drier across northern and western parts of uh, Europe. So the above average precipitation is pushed up towards Norway and over towards um, Baltic areas and into west of Russia. But otherwise, I mean, it's a weakening signal because we're at week three now. Weakening signal. But overall, I think we're looking at a rather drier than average week. Here. So I think high pressure is becoming more influential across um, many many parts of Europe, actually, as we go through uh, the final week of February, probably pushing the jet stream northwards and building up some ridging from the south. And that turns uh, most parts of uh, northern Europe from being average to wetter than average to being average to drier than average for the last week of uh, February, but also, of course, continuing with mild conditions. And then week four uh, is the uh, second to the eighth of March. It's week ten for the year, and again above average temperatures. Really, no change. Most parts of northern Europe around three to six degrees above average. Elsewhere, we're around one to three degrees above average, including Ireland and the UK. Down into Mediterranean, perhaps nearer to average. Perhaps a little bit cooler in the southeastern corner of the Med around um, Greece and Turkey, the central bowl of the Med from Italy over to Spain, uh, looking um, warmer than average there, as is Spain and Portugal too. Uh, Precipitation-wise, so perhaps seems to get being a bit more unsettled again in this far northwestern corner, maybe bringing some lower pressure back again in towards Scandinavia and also Ireland and the UK. France is rather dry, so we presumably still have high pressure extending from the Azores through Spain, Portugal, into France and much of southern Europe too. I mean, broadly, it's the same pattern that we've been in all winter, just slight deviations week to week in how strong the high pressure is from the south compared to the low pressure from the northwest. But basically, the ECM is seeing no change uh, again today. It wants to keep the westerlies going, wants to keep zonality going, and it starts very unsettled, potentially quite stormy many northern parts of Europe. There's a hint of some higher pressure building up from the south late um, in February. The last week of February might turn a bit drier, would still be very mild, just high pressure building from the south rather than building down from the north. So it would still be a mild ridge, but probably going a bit drier later in February. Early March could take us back to more unsettled conditions again across the far northwest of Europe, uh, perhaps. But of course, that's four weeks away, so it's unreliable. But broadly, mild rules of roost um, for the rest of February. 
Just a snapshot of what Molly showing. It could all look very different uh, next week, although it has been really, really consistent throughout this winter with its mild signal. It'll be interesting to see how this model would perform, how all the long range models, really, the CFS2, how they would perform if we had a cold winter. That would be interesting to see, but um, until we get one, we won't know. Has been a very consistent signal throughout this winter from the ECM, but saying that, it's only a snapshot. It could look very different next week. It probably won't, but it could do. Um, and we shall see how things evolve. Right, that's it for your ECWF uh, month April get for this week. Do it all over again next week. Um, later on, we're going to have a week 10 day video update coming up uh, at Gazza. So uh, come back for that later on this afternoon. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.